what's next? I'll tell you what's next. I wish the news media and the politicians in this country would just stop being honest with the American people. Just start telling us the truth. I agree completely with you, Bob. You're on the money here. For the last two weeks, the news media and these politicians have been on TV asking each other whether they think Barack Obama's a Muslim. Yeah, I know. It's fucking stupid, ain't it, Bob? I'm sure that's where you're going with this one. I can sense it. You seem like a rational guy. They him. They ha. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. Actually, no. There's a specific type of people who are umming and ahhing, Bob, and that's... Well, nobbits like you, really, and li people like Lee Doran. I don't understand why the American people would think he is. Yes, you do. You know exactly why the American people would think he's a Muslim. Because they're ignorant, racist fucksards like you. His name is Barack Hussein Obama. Oh, of course, and that's it, isn't it? I mean, it's got to do with names, isn't it? Uh, uh, here's, here's a couple of names of Muslims for you, uh, Bob. Um, Snoop Doggy Dog, Flavor Flav, uh, Buster Rhymes, Robin Van Persie. Uh, these, these are obviously Muslim names, aren't they, Bob? It's a religion, isn't it? He grew up in Indonesia. He went to a Muslim school. He would. He lived there as a child, briefly, grow up. When are you going to grow up, Bob? Can you fuck off to Indonesia and grow up, please? His father was a Muslim. He was actually an atheist. He went, clearly went for the popular vote with that one, didn't he? His grandfather was Muslim. Don't tell me you're in a why we think he might be a freaking Muslim. Because you're a fucking idiot, Bob. I mean, this is really not too simple. I know even you could get sick. All right, you, right, you fucking moron. What was your, what was your dad, Bob, other than not around? What puzzles me is why the mainstream media and the White House get so angry when you call Barack Obama a Muslim. Because it's a fucking meaningless question and no one should give a shit. That's why. I thought they love Muslims. I thought Muslims are great people. Do you know what, Bob? Some Muslims are fucking arsehole. I know this is going to shock a lot of people because I am obviously an Islamo-communist. But, yes, some Muslims are cunts. Some Muslims are not. Some Muslims are somewhere in between. Everyone's different, Bob. You know? I know you don't like that. That's difficult because learning that people are different is a fucking awkward thing. It means you have to sort of like judge people on an individual basis and generalizing is much easier for someone of your mental capacity of a you know, miscarried Neanderthal fetus. All of a sudden, it's an insult to call somebody a Muslim? It's an insult when you're only doing it because the guy's name is Barack Hussein Obama and he's black. You think the same thing would have happened if in 2007 Newsweek came out with an article calling George Bush a Muslim? No, because we were too busy debating whether George Bush was fucking retarded, quite frankly. That was when a Muslim would have been one of the more fucking better qualities that guy had. Joe, you know the first person was, after 9-11, publicly, to call Islam a religion of peace? It was fucking George Bush. You think it would have got so much attention? Of course not, because the accusation would have been ridiculous. The reason this is getting so much attention is because it's entirely plausible that Barack Obama is a Muslim. The same thing with this guy being a natural born citizen. The news media, the politicians, we don't understand why the American people would think this guy wasn't born in America. Because they keep listening to bigoted fucking propaganda merchants like you, you fucking knob jockey. Are you kidding me? There are only two forms of proof that say this guy's a natural born citizen. Oh, this is good. You'll, you'll love this. The two forms of proof. A fake birth certificate that's printed online and a freaking birth announcement from a Hawaiian newspaper printed 40 years ago. A fake birth certificate. I'll leave a link to factcheck.org so you can... Well, please tell me, Bob, how this is a fake birth certificate. Right. His, mother, his mother went to Kenya Right, his mother, who lived in America, went to Kenya and thought, oh fuck, this guy's got to be, grow up to be president. And they fucking flew her quickly to Hawaii just as he was hanging halfway out of her. They stowed her fucking knees together. So you acknowledge that it was printed 40 years ago. So you think his fucking grandparents and his parents just put an announcement in a, news, in, in a newspaper 40 fucking years ago on the off chance that he would one day grow up to be president because they didn't realize that fucking spastics like you would be on the internet questioning where did this guy where this guy was from. If I give an eight year old kid a piece of construction paper and a bottle of Elmer's glue, he can come up with a fake bread statement and post it online. Why are you hanging around with eight year old kids, Bob? You give me ten minutes on the computer, I'll come up with a freaking birth announcement from the Des Moines Register dated 1975 that says I was born on the moon. And I would actually fucking believe that, quite frankly, at this point, Bob. I'll tell you what, here's an idea, Bob. You you're talking about these Things they could be fake. They could be. But you have to prove that. And you can't just say that because the guy's black and his middle name is insane that that's enough reason. But here's one for you, Bob. Your argument seems to be, if we ask a question enough times, uh, we can, what we can do is, uh, by asking that question over and over again and refusing to accept the answer, uh, we can you know, sort of make that question. And you said it yourself. Is Barack Obama a Muslim? And is he an American citizen? 
and you've put in the guy, it's a valid question. Whilst I was trawling the internet, I found this newspaper article, Drunken Raving I Idiot Gazette. I'll leave it up. Hold on, I'll put a picture up for it here. Look, DWB, which is Drinking with Bob, uh, is a gay Muslim pedo. Yesterday, it was revealed that borderline retarded, dribbling fucknut, Drinking with Bob, a.k.a. Ahmed, is a raging homosexual Islamic kiddie fiddler. DPR Jones was unavailable for comment. Navillan Free said brilliant. Now, based on the idea, Bob, that you hang around with eight-year-olds and you have this obsession with Muslims, it's like you're trying to cover something up. And I found this, this is proof right here. And, you know, I mean, you can, cl you can claim that this is fake, Bob, but, you know, you've got no evidence to prove that. And, you know, uh, and, and, and seeing as we, you know, we're going to be able to, I'm going to just put this forward. As, you, know, you, you, can, you can decide for yourself whether it's true or not. And based on the idea, Bob, that if you ask a question over and over again and ignore the answers and the facts, that you can just, you know, you can just sit there and go, well, it's a valid question. I need to ask the question. Is drinking with Bob a gay Muslim pedophile? It's a valid question, Bob, and I want an answer. And I think you should ask Bob too. Richard Dick Coughlin, 616. Good night. May God be less. Hi there. Richard the Dick Coughlin, 616. And I've got to do a video here. And I was going to make, wait until tomorrow to do this fucking video, but I'm going to have to do it fucking now. And this is going to be a response to that gay Muslim pedophile that is drinking with what about Bob. I fucking hate this guy so fucking much. I could respond to him all fucking day. I would post this video as a response to his, like I tried with the last one, but I can't because he blocked me. In fact, you blocked everyone, didn't you, Bob? You blocked everyone who asked you if you're a gay Muslim pedophile. Right? There were even people going around like that cunt Amit 1980 who was saying that drinking with Bob should sue me for calling you a gay Muslim pedophile. I didn't. I'd ask the question. It's a valid question, isn't it, Bob? But no. Fuck you, Bob, in the arse, you dumb motherfucker. But no, you've posted this video that just drove me round the fucking bend, and it sums up what is wrong with the fucking mentality of pig-ignorant, driveling, fucking lobotomy-addicted, amoeba-brained retards like you. Right? You've made this video complaining that the American government has just donated $800,000 of taxpayers' money to fund an NIH program to help deal with, to help deal with uh, AIDS in Africa, in Africa by sort of inc increasing the hygiene levels there, right? And you've, you've, you've mocked it all out. You've, you've mocked it what, by saying uh, $800,000 to help Africans wash their genitals. It's not that simplistic, but then everything's simplistic with you, isn't it, you stupid little fucking prick, right? You've made this video complaint. Now, I'm going to leave a link to the NIH program that explains it in more detail than Bob can fucking have. Handle, but I'm going to go, I'm going to leave that to you there. But basically, it's just, it's a program that's trying to help, you know, solve the problem of AIDS in Africa, trying to move it along. You think that would be a good thing, but no, Bob is angry. Bob is angry and pissed off because Americans are paying $800,000 to what they're making the game you gave you there. Right? Do you know what it works out as, Bob? America is currently 310 million people. I rounded it down to get to that figure. 310 million fucking people. Do you know what that works out as, Bob? Naught point, naught, naught, two, five dollars per person. A quarter of a fucking penny. One quarter of a fucking penny is all you have had to pay for to help people with fuck all who are dying of a fucking AIDS pandemic and you're pissed off and angry about that, you gutless little fucking worm. Right? People like you deserve to fucking get no help from anyone. You're a scumbag, right? You make all these fucking videos about the mosque, about how the mosque in Ground Zero, it's, we're bending over backwards to fucking accommodate these terrorist-loving camel fuckers, and then you don't make, you don't make one video, you didn't mention once about what happened last week when the US government made sixty billion dollars trading arms with Saudi Arabia? Where do you think the fucking terrorists who committed 9-11 came from, Bob? And you don't say a fucking thing because all you care about is making money and you don't fucking give a shit about spending any of it to help others because you're a heartless fucking evil piece of shit. Fuck you, Richard the Dick Coughlin, 616. Good night, may God be less. Hello. Richard Dick Coughlin, 616, how are you? I know some of you are going to sit there going, oh, why are you bothering with this cunt yet again? And I'll explain that in due time. Recently, Drinking With What About Bob, everyone's favourite ranting fucknut, made a video about don't ask, 
don't tell. And you're probably thinking, ah, you know where he's going with this one? Pretty straightforward. Well, it's not. This has got to be the most frustrating video I have seen by DWB. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to play you the first like, 20, 30 seconds of his video. Here. Don't ask, don't tell. The last couple of days, Lady Gaga's been running around saying soldiers have rights in their gay. Soldiers have rights in their gay. As much as I hate Lady Gaga, I tend to agree. Soldiers do have rights in their gay. What's the freaking difference? It's not like we're trying to keep gays out of the military. They're already in the military. Gays are already showering next to straight soldiers. Gays are already freaking sleeping next to straight soldiers. Do you think the straight soldiers don't know who the gay soldiers are right now? No, they know. They don't care. You want to know why? They're too busy trying to stay alive to worry about this freaking nonsense. Now, I was sat there, probably like you are, thinking, hell yeah, right on, Bob, go for it. I was on the verge thinking, no, I'm actually going to thumb up my first ever Drinking With Bob video. But, in classic, classic Drinking With Bob style, he managed to let us down by not letting us down. But then he carried on to say this. My question is, why do the gay soldiers care? I mean, what do they want? Do they want the right to wear flowers in their hair and freaking comment? Do they want to make sure the army can't tell them not to match their freaking panties to their socks? I mean, gays haven't made in the military. They don't like what's going on. All they have to do is raise their hand and say they're gay. They get to go home. What the fuck are you talking about, you dumb cunt? I even read in the comments section one person saying, a lot of these people can't admit they're homosexual because the countries they're going to, homosexuality is illegal. I think murdering's illegal in some of these countries. They're still killing people, aren't they? A lot of people, like Bob, seem to think that repealing don't ask, don't tell equals must ask, must tell. No! Of course they don't want to run around fucking in, the, in pink leotards going, woo, 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 like that. They're in a fucking war zone, you tosser. Somewhere you've probably never been, you crazy brave bastard there, you internet fucking hero on your webcam. And yet, I know, I'm doing the same fucking thing. I'm not sitting there disparaging the lives of people who are out there fighting, apparently, for your fucking freedom. A freedom that some people out there who are gay don't are fighting for that they don't even fucking have. What this is about, Bob, is a little thing called principle. Now, I know you don't know what that is, because in order to have principles, you have to care about people. You have to actually give a shit about human beings, right? Is not saying that you're gay really a massive thing on the grand... Is it the worst kind of oppression? No, probably not. But you know what? It's the fucking principle. When black people had to go and drink at a separate fountain, a drink fountain, to white people, was that the worst thing in the world? No, not really, but it's the fucking principle. Because what that's actually saying is, you're not good enough for us. What you are is not good enough. Who you are is not good enough. The, the way you were born is not acceptable in this environment. And that cannot be accepted. That is unacceptable. Now, why am I responding to Drinking With Bob? Because he, like many other YouTube users on here, and I could list off quite half a dozen, is one of these people who likes to make videos but never acknowledge people who respond to him. Because you don't want to address criticism, because that would mean you'd actually have to defend your position. And your position on every issue is almost untenable. But I think there's a subtext to this one, Bob. I think there's a different, there's an underlying message here. Because a couple of weeks ago, I asked a question. It was a valid question. I said, Bob, are you a gay Muslim pedophile? And now, this don't ask, don't tell thing has happened, and you've seen this as the prime opportunity to jump in and say, hey, it's just about mind your own fucking business. It's no, really, Bob. Well, I know you're not going to respond to me, Bob, but guess what? I am not going away. If you think that's going to stop me, you've got another thing coming, sunshine. I am going to fuck with you and drive you mad until the day you die or one of us fucking stops making videos. I'm never going to leave you alone. And I'm certainly not going to discourage people to go to your video and ask you the question that you refuse to answer, the valid question that we will ask and that you won't tell. And for those of you who still don't get it, and for those of you who still don't understand what this is about, I'll leave you with an image, and if you still don't get it now, fuck you and go away. Richard the Nick Coughlin, 616. Good night, may God be less.